Hey everybody, how's it going? It's True Effect the Arts Work Base, and uh, today we're going to be doing a little. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Now this is. I just want to point out that this is unscripted. So if you just, if you catch me fumbling over my words like in the last few seconds, then uh, feel free to laugh. For, uh, like feel free to laugh at my my stuttering, my constant stut 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 stu stu stuttering. So yeah, I found this free personality test, found in quotation marks. Uh, Chill Will actually showed, showed me this personality quiz, and what it's supposed to do is determine what type of person you really are, uh, quote-unquote. But yeah, it seemed like a very interesting thing to do, like, to me, or... Uh, like you know, it's something that I, that caught my eye. So, might as well get into it. And answer these questions. You know, the rules are: takes less than twelve minutes. Well, that's not necessarily a rule, but like these other two right here. Answer honestly, even if you don't know the answer. Try not to leave any neutral answers. So I'm guessing that's like these little spots right here, like. Try to leave as little of these uh, spots as, possi as possible. So, um, let's get into it. Uh, question number one. You find it difficult to introduce yourself to other people. I mean, yes. Uh, you often get so lost in your thoughts that you ignore or forget your surroundings. Um, I'm going to say disagree. You try to respond to your emails as soon as possible and cannot stand a messy inbox. Dude, I like receive so many spam m emails, so it doesn't really concern me. Um, unless I'm getting a real important email, then yes. Um, so, you find it easy to stay relaxed even when there's some pressure. Yeah, I'm pretty much a chill dude. Uh, you do not usually initiate conversations. Yes. You rarely do something just out of sheer curiosity. Oh yeah, um, definitely uh, curious George on that one. You feel superior to other people. Nah. Being organized is more important to you than being adaptable. Uh, not at all. If you seen my uh, desktop, you, it's full of it's full of crap. You are usually high. I'm. <laughs> you are usually high. <laughs> you are usually highly motivated and energetic. Um, no. Uh, winning a debate matters less to you than making sure. Uh, you often feel as if you have to justify yourself to other people. Eh, not really. Your home and work environments are <laughs> quite tidy. <laughs> nah. You do not mind being at the center of attention. Um, sure. Uh, you consider yourself more practical than creative. And not a, nah. People can rarely upset you. Uh, no, you have to really try really hard to get me upset. Like, I, I swear, I probably have probably some of the most thickest skin. This is probably going to bite me in the ass later on. Somebody's going to tell the most horrible joke, and I'm going to get so offended <laughs> later on, but nah. Your travel plans are usually well thought out. I don't travel, so no. It is often difficult for you to relate to other people's feelings. Eh. Your mood can change very quickly. Nah. <clears throat> In a discussion, truth should be more important than people's sensitivities. Hell yes. 
you rarely worry about how your actions affect other people. Eh. Your work style is closer to random energy spikes than to method... method... I can't speak today. Method... methodical in organized approach. I knew I would get it on the third time. Yes. You are often envious of others. Oh no. An interesting book or video game is often better than a social event. Who needs to go out? Like, not me. Being able to develop... Eh, well, nah. Being able to <laughs> develop a plan and stick to it is the most important part of every project. Yeah, sure. You rarely... <clears throat> You rarely get carried away by fantasies and ideas. Yes. You often find yourself lost in thought when you are walking in nature. Well, I rarely go outside, but like when I, I, I suppose, it, uh, I'm gonna leave that there. <laughs> If someone does not respond to your email quickly, you start worrying if you said something wrong. Eh, not emails, it's mostly texts and like, uh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna leave that one here. As a parent, you would rather see your child grow up kind than smart. Um, no. Because I feel like if kind is all you ever are and you don't have any smarts that could be very detrimental you do not you do not let other people influence your actions um no when you sleep your dreams tend to focus on the real world and its events nope my dreams are very very out there so it does not it does not take you much time to start getting involved in social activities at your new workplace. Um, eh. You are more of a natural improviser than a careful planner. Yes. Your emotions control you more than you control them. Not at all. Considering I ha rarely have any emotion, <laughs> I'm like, I, f I sound so monotone. It sounds like I don't have any emotion at all. You enjoy going to social events. Uh, social events, not social events. E you enjoy going to social events that involve dress up or role play activities. Oh, hell no. You often spend time exploring unrealistic and impractical yet intriguing ideas yes you would rather improvise than spend time coming up with a detailed plan sure you are a relatively reserved and quiet person yeah if you had a business you would find it very difficult to fire loyal but underperforming employees. E yes. You often contemplate the reasons for human existence. <laughs> yes. Logic is usually more important than heart when it comes to making important decisions. Yes. Keeping your options open is more important than having a to-do list. Sure. If your friend is sad about something, you are more likely to offer emotional support than suggest ways to deal with the problem. Um, no. I would suggest to them what to do, then probably give them emotional support. Or maybe vice versa. I, um, eh. You rarely feel insecure. Yes. You have no difficulties coming up with a personal timetable in sticking to it. Mm. 
Being right is more important than being cooperative when it comes to teamwork. <laughs> Disagree. You think that everyone's views should be respected regardless of whether they are supported by facts or not. Yes. You feel more energetic after spending time with a group of people. Yeah. You frequently misplace your things. Oh, all the time. I'd be like, where's the damn remote? <laughs> and then you hear a large thud and it's on the floor. It's like, oh, there it is. You see yourself as very emotionally stable. Um, yes. Your mind is always buzzing with unexplored ideas and plans. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. You would not call yourself a dreamer. Uh, I would, I would, I would definitely call myself a dreamer. You usually find it difficult to relax when talking in front of many people. Yeah, I do get, I t do tend to get a little bit nervous. Generally speaking, you rely more on your experience than your imagination. Um, eh. You worry too much about what other people think. Not at all. If the room is full, you stay closer to the walls, avoiding the center. Uh, yeah. You have a tendency to procrastinate until there is not enough time to do everything. <laughs> Oh no, no, I, I, I hate the answer that I gave, but I gotta answer truthfully. You feel very anxious in stressful situations. Nah. You believe that it is more rewarding to be liked by others than to be powerful. Let's see, do I want to be liked by others or do I want to be powerful? Ooh, that's a... I'm going to have to neutral that one. And ladies and gentlemen, our first neutral answer. You have always been interested in unconventional and ambiguous things, e.g. In, in books, arts, movies. Uh, sure. You often take initiative in social situations. Often. Eh, not all the time. Your personality type is logician. Logish, logician, like a logical magician. <laughs> um, I am an INTP. A. So I'm thirty-seven percent extroverted and sixty-three percent introverted. Okay, I I think that's reasonable. This trait, uh, so this energy, this trait shows where we direct our mental energy. 56% intuitive and 44% observant. I mean, that's about right. This trait determines how we make decisions and cope with emotions. 51% uh, thinking and 49% feeling, which I think is pretty reasonable. Um, this trait reflects our approach to work, planning, and decision making. 17% um, judging and 83% prospecting. Eh, I guess so. <clears throat> this trait underpins all others showing how confident we are in our abilities and decisions. 68% assertive and 32% turbulent. I guess so. Uh, that's that's all of this is reasonable to me. So uh, it and I answer it as truthfully as I can. So hmm, it's it is not supposed to do that. Oh yeah, yes, yes. Start reading. Logician, learn from yesterday. Live for today. Hope for tomorrow. The important thing is not to stop questioning. Amen to that. Amen. 
The logician personality type is fairly rare, making up only 3% of the population. Ooh, does that mean that I'm a unicorn? Like, does that mean I'm rare? Like, like, I, I'm rare, guys. I'm, I'm a unicorn, which is definitely a good thing for them, as there's nothing they'd be more unhappy about than being common, quote-unquote. Logicians per <coughs> excuse me. Logicians pride themselves on their intentiveness and creativity, their unique perspective and vigorous intellect. Usually known as the philosopher, the architect, or the dreamy professor. Mmm, the dreamy professor. <laughs> Log <laughs> Logicians have been responsible for many scientific dis discoveries throughout history and uh, I'm not gonna read all of it like uh, tell me if you're a logician like that that way we can meet each other in real life and like maybe high five or something uh, when's some less logicians you may know <laughs> Bill Gates yeah I mean he's a pretty smart dude and he's a pretty re re reach rich dude I uh, like uh, 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 pretty good. It's a pretty good. Albert Einstein, uh, the thinker himself, the E equals MC2 squared, the theory of relativity. Rene Descartes, uh, Stanley Crouch. Is that a saxophone? Because you know, uh, I I I like the saxophone. Amon Tar Targar. Targaryen? Game of Thrones? I have never watched a single episode of Game of Thrones. Lord Varys? I... Also from Game of Thrones? Neo? <laughs> from The Matrix? What are you saying? That I'm Neo? That I, uh, did I take the red pill? So, yeah, that's, uh, that's my, uh, personality. I am a, I am a logician. So, yeah, that's my... That's my personality. What are my strengths and weaknesses? Great analysts, imaginative, open-minded, enthusiastic, objective, honest and straightforward. Logicians, weakness, very private and withdrawn, insensitive, absent-minded. So I'm open-minded and absent-minded, condescending. Oh no, I, I, I wouldn't hope that I'm condescending. Goodness gracious, loathe rules and guidelines. Now that is me. That is I, I hate rules. Second guess themselves. Yeah, yeah, kind of do. Romantic relationships. Marry a good wife. Make. Marry a good what? Marry a good wife makes happiness. A bad one philosophy. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I understand. You wear the bareness of a bit busy life. So I guessing what it says is basically we're just too busy. So busy to deal with anything. So about that uh, meeting in real life and high-fiving, uh, I don't think I'm going to... I'm gonna be too busy with that. <laughs> so yeah, let's. What's about the what about the conclusion? What's about the conclusion? Armed with powerful intellect and vivid imagination, logicians can overcome or outmaneuver obstacles that seem unbeatable to most. At the same time, there are many quirks, such as often. Unconstrained rationalism lead to many misunderstandings. Those misunderstandings end here. So that about does it for the personality quiz. Uh, yeah. So, logician. How many? How many times am I gonna freaking say logician? So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick little personality quiz that I just did. And uh, tell me what your personality quiz, no, personality quiz, personality type is in the comment section below. And this has been Theo from Trifecta Arts Workbase, and 
I will see you later.